week, you for real are facing the real thing. And there's offense. no doubt. Uh, you know, they got a great quarterback. They got a, probably the best receiver in the country, uh, probably the best O-line in the country. Uh, they got four tailbacks that are as good as anybody in the SEC. And, uh, I mean, they're a complete offense. They run it, they throw it, uh, and they go really, really, really fast. What do you see, if anything, different in how Manziel plays this year compared to when you defended him last season? Well, the big thing, I don't know if everybody knew who he was at the time. You know, when we played him, he was kind of – he had had a coming out party against Louisiana Tech right before us. Then he played really good against us. Then he went over to Tuscaloosa and won that game. So I think people started to find out who he was right around the time we played him. I don't think there's any secret right now who he is. Uh, he's a big-time quarterback, a big-time leader, and uh, he's got some weapons that he can throw the ball to and that he can hand the ball to. I know you can't match him, what he does on scout team, but who do you kind of use to emulate Yeah, well, I mean, the, we've got a couple of scout team quarterbacks, you know, uh, Josh Hand, Sam Coward, and then Gabe Miles was out there running around a little bit. And I uh, know he's a Starkville legend. And, uh, you know, I mean, he's, he's really fast. He's really athletic. Um, you know, so he tried to do, you know, do his best to simulate uh, what their quarterback does. How, how important is it to kind of the discipline level of your guys, especially in the way back? Right. Menzel does what he does sure. to just stay where they are and not get totally out of position. Yeah, well, I mean, we've seen – Assistant, we've seen this offense three times this year, uh, but the difference is the plays that this kid can make with his feet. Um, you know, if you have the, the routes covered, you have it, you know, rush lanes fit, and then all of a sudden he just improvises and makes, you know, spectacular plays. So our job is to try to limit those and uh, make sure we do a great job covering, but also make sure we maintain our pass rush integrity too. When dealing with Mike Evans, do you, can you take anything away from how you did what you did well or what you did not so well against LSU with those two wide receivers? Yeah, well, I mean, he's a completely different, you know, kid. He's six foot five. He's two hundred and twenty pounds, and he's uh, freakishly fast and can jump out of the gym. So, uh, you know, those two guys are completely different, even though they're great in their own right. Uh, you know, he's just a completely different animal than we've you know been used to seeing him. Mean, he's a great player, great kid. Uh, from what everybody says, so the challenge is there, you know, for us to be able to match up with him. How underrated is the fact that he completes 72 percent of his passes? Good off Many people expect that, from right? But well, I think all the work that he's done in the off season has improved his accuracy. Uh, you can tell that he has a you know a greater sense of where his reads are: middle field open, middle field close, flat defender, you know, all those kind of things. He has great control over all those things, and he can still improvise. Uh, so that's going to be, you know, uh, I think that's where his development has been the most impressive. What did you take away from the South Carolina game? I mean, I think the most three announced we've had all season. Right. Outside of a couple of plays where maybe a defensive back was out of place, a really good game. Well, the, you know, the, the thing that, you know, was upsetting when you watch the tape is, you know, two of the runs that they had were missed tackles in the back. So you take away two of those runs, you know, it's it's even a better performance. Um, but the big thing is, you know, whatever situation, you know, we get into or we put ourselves into, we've got to respond. We can't let them in the end zone. And, uh, you know, that's the big challenge for us. And the other thing is creating turnovers. You know, we've got one turnover in the last three weeks, two in the last four, and that's just kind of, you know, leaving everybody with a little bit of bad taste in their mouth. You know, make sure we're trying to do everything we can to get the ball. Uh, Coursing three and outs is great. Getting off the field on third downs is great. Uh, but letting people in the end zone and not creating turnovers are things that we have to improve on. How about the way you guys started? Dan said, you know, he, he liked the way you guys got, you know, got to the stadium. You got right. like warm ups a lot. Sure, he felt good. You get that three and out, and you went out and field the score. I mean, they've scored, I think, every time on their first drive. I mean, it's, it, you know, it, that's, that's Kevin Sumlin's thing. Sure. How important is it to you guys yeah, get big, started, especially on the road? Absolutely. We've got to start fast because uh, it's such a high powered offense. And, uh, you know, trying to get some semblance of confidence early is huge for us. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a great environment in that stadium. I've gotten to, had the pleasure of coaching in that stadium. And it's a big-time environment, big-time SEC football stadium. Uh, fans are, are great. Uh, so we just got to make sure we're ready to handle that kind of adversity and uh, start fast.